Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me and sent me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the broken hearted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Today we celebrate the Mass of Saint Vincent de Paul, the patronal feast of this particular parish. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues. Grant, we pray, that a fire of the same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Take yourselves, brothers, at the time when you were called. How many of you were wise in the ordinary sense of the word? How many were influential people or came from noble families? No, it was to shame the wise that God chose what is foolish by human reckoning, and to shame what is strong that he chose what is weak by human reckoning. Those whom the world thinks common and contemptible are the ones that God has chosen. Those who are nothing at all to show up those who are everything. The human race is nothing to boast about to God, but you, God has made members of Christ Jesus, and by God's doing, he has become our wisdom and our virtue and our holiness and our freedom. As scripture says, if anyone wants to boast, let him boast about the Lord. The word of the Lord. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands, his sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. 
He is generous, merciful and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honour. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep and my own know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the labourers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send labourers to his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Vincent de Paul was born in 1581 in France. And at the exceptionally young age of 19, he was ordained a priest in 1600, subsequently attending the University of Toulouse. In 1605, while travelling by sea, he was captured by Turkish Mohammedan pirates and he was taken into slavery. He spent two and a half years as a slave, finally escaping in 1607 with the help of his owner, whom he had converted to Christianity. Vincent decided to devote his life to charitable work and he was appointed parish priest of Clichy, a suburb of Paris. After only two years there, he was asked to be chaplain and a teacher to the household of the Count of Gondi. Since the Count was in charge of ships, Vincent got an opportunity to see the plight of the galley slaves. He sought to relieve their terrible conditions by offering them not just material assistance, but spiritual as well. He ransomed over 1,200 galley slaves from North Africa. Back in Paris, after believing the Gandhi family, he established confraternities of men and women working to bring charity to the poor and to care for the vast numbers of sick in the city. His chief source of charitable donations and concerns came from wealthy noble women who provided funds for the creation of hospitals and homes for orphaned and foundling children. These became known as the Ladies of Charity. A practical man, Vincent work, Vincent's work went practically unnoticed by the wealthy who chose to ignore the problems of the time and even the poor themselves who didn't appreciate what he was doing for them. To advance his efforts still further, Vincent founded in Paris in 1625 the Congregation of the Missions called the Lazarites or Vincentians, a society of priests with the express task of missionary labour and the, the training of the clergy. He was zealous in conducting retreats for clergy at the time when there was a great laxity, abuse and ignorance among them. St. Vincent's Sheffield, the parish you're in now, was the first English foundation. In 1633, with the remarkable St. Louise de Marillac, 
he also established the Daughters of the Sisters of Charity, the first congregation of women caring for the sick and poor outside the confines of a convent. He said that their convent is the sick room, their chapel is the parish church, their is the streets of the city. Vincent also organised relief efforts for the many unfortunate victims injured and wounded in wars which France was involved in around the middle of the 17th century. Vincent was a bitter opponent, opponent of the heresy called Jansenism, which was rampant in France at the time. Jansenism was Calvinist in tone, which taught that only certain people could be saved. Vincent died in Paris on September the 27th, 1660, at the age of 80. And he was canonized as saint by Pope Clement XIII in 1737. Most remarkably, Vincent was by temperament a very short-tempered person. Even his friends admitted it. He said that except for the grace of God, he would have been hard and repulsive, rough and cross. But he became a tender and affectionate man very sensitive to the needs of others, particularly the poor. Leo XIII made him the patron of all the charitable societies. Now outstanding among these, of course, is the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, founded in 1833 by his admirer, Blessed Frederick Osman. St. Vincent de Paul Pray for us. Our Father in heaven cares for us. Let us pray to him for what we need. Saint Vincent was the champion of the poor and vulnerable people of his day. May we imitate his example both in word and in deed. Lord, hear us. Saint Vincent founded the Vincentians, also known as the Congregation of the Mission. May we as the parish of Vincent, Vincent, grow more missionary in character. Lord, hear us. St. Vincent founded the Daughters of Charity. May there be a new influx of vocations to religious orders of women who care for the sick. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for the restored St. Vincent de Paul confraternity in this parish. Under the protection of St. Vincent and Blessed Frederick Osman, may we move more readily to see our Saviour in the poor and vulnerable people of the parish and indeed beyond. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for the sick and those who look after them. May we as a parish be imbued with the spirit of St. Vincent, who gave his life looking after the sick and the vulnerable of his day. Lord, hear us. We pray now for those who died recently and those whose anniversaries occur around this time. May they receive the reward of eternal life and enjoy the company of St. Vincent and all the angels and saints. Lord, hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God our Father, listen to our heartfelt prayers this evening and grant us the things we ask for through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have seen wine and offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Found all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring heart to the fullness of charity, together with France and our Pope and Ralph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he 
fills with good things. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the Gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.